these ten surahs, Madani surahs, from Hadid to Tahrim, they are in the form of five pairs. And this is the central pair, Surah Al Saf and Surah Al Jumah. Because we have four surahs before them, two pairs. Four surahs after them, two pairs. This is the central surah. Surah Hadith started with the glory of Allah, but Surah Mujadala without its mentioning. This was one pair. Surah Al Hashr started, Sabbaha lillahi maafi samawati wa maafi larb, but Surah Al Muntahina without it. It was the second pair. But now this central and third pair, it is unique in this sense that both the surahs are starting with this mention of glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by everything in the universe. Moreover, change of tense. Surah so Tussaf starts with Sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard wa huwa al-azid al-hakim. Exactly the same ayah with which Surah Al-Hashr started. And then the next Surah Al-Jum'ah, it will start, يُسَبِّحُ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Here it is past tense and there it is Muzariah. And Muzariah in Arabic grammar, it covers the past, the present and the future both tenses. So it covers the whole time. And مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ covers whole existence, total universe. Universe is not a sufficient word. Total existence is mafi samawati mafi lam. So now it has, so to say, engulfed everything, encompassed everything, and all the time, everything in this universe has been glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from ever, is glorifying at every moment, will continue to glorify forever. Now we come to Surah Al-Jumah. I have already mentioned, this is a pair, and the most central pair of these ten surahs. In Surah Al-Saf, three things are very clear. Number one, Bhai was Muhammad said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Huwa allazhi arsala rasoolahu bil huda wa deen al-haqq li yuzirahu wa labdeen kulli. Number two, if you are a true mu'min, if you want salvation in the hereafter, you have to make jihad for that cause. You have to do it. No escape. Number three, this jihad can reach the level of qital. Don't think it will always be a dawah only and a passive resistance. No, no, no. It is bound to reach that level and you will be required to lay down their lives in the battlefield. If you don't do it, don't hope for salvation. If you do it, then Allah will forgive you and make you enter paradise. And if you are not doing it, then kabura maktan in the taqulu Then stop saying that you are mu'min. Stop saying that you believe in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Don't say you believe in Allah and His and His Messenger. Otherwise, saying something else and doing something else, it is not giving you any credit. It is adding to the discredit every time. Now the question arises, where from to get those people who will do this jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? First of all, there should be man force, man power. For that's what is the basic methodology of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the topic of Surah Al-Jumah. How he gathered people, how he trained them, that was most important. Unless you have a party group of most committed people, ready to sacrifice everything, ready to lay down their lives, how can you proceed? But where to get these people from? Do they grow somewhere? Are there some trees, the fruit of which? Are these people? How? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You sabbihu lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi lard. 
Dahul Bolk, Al Balik al Quddus al Aziz al Hakim. This is the second place in the whole of Quran where four names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come transactively. The first was also in this series, Surah Al Hadid, who was Awalo, Wal Akhiro, Wal Zahiro, Wal Batin. Here without vow, Al Malik al Quddus al Aziz al Hakim. Everything is glorifying and will continue to glorify forever, whether that thing is in the heavens or in the earth. Glorifying whom? Allah, who is the King, the Sovereign, the Holy, the Mighty, and the Wise. Huwa allazhi wa'asa fil lummiyina rasoola minhum. It is he who has raised from among the unlettered ones a messenger from among themselves. What does this messenger do? Now this is the crucial ayah. Yatlu alayhim ayatihi wa yuzakkihim wa yu'allimuhum al-kitab wa al-hikmah. These four terms are very basic, very essential. Repeated four times in the Quran. In the prayer of Ibrahim and Ismail, Rabbana wa baqsihim rasoolam minhum, yatlu alayhim ayateka, wa yuallimuhum al-kitaba wa al-hikmata wa yuzakkihim. Then when Allah says, we have granted the prayer of Ibrahim and Ismail, and advent of Muhammad is actually the manifestation of the prayer of Ibrahim and Ismail alayhim as-salam. Kama arsalna fikum rasoolam minkum, yatlu alayhim ayatina, wa yuzakkihim, wa yuallimuhum al-kitaba wa al-hikmata. Then for the third time in Surah Al-Imran, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ اِزْبَعَصَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِمْ وَيُذَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ And for the fourth time here. Now this is the basic methodology. How we change people? First recite unto them the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is like a magnet. The first experiment that we did in fifth class, I think, science class, science laboratory, there's a mixture of iron filings and wood pieces. How to separate the two? A mixture. Take each and one, no. Take a magnet, move it. The iron filings will stick to the magnet and the wood will remain. This Qur'an is the magnet. To it, immediately get attached the people whose spirits in them have not died. Whose nature is still salim, not perverted. Healthy nature, they will come. So this is the magnet you in the society, you go on reciting Quran. As we found in in the Fizalika La Zikra, Liman Khan Allahu Kalmun Aw Al Kasama Bahua Shahid, they will come. They will come and gather around you. Now the second task is use a key him, purify them. If they have some impurities in them, purify them. What are the impurities? Some bad Habits may be there. Some wrong deeds, purify. Some worldly ambitions might be there, purify the hearts. From the worldly ambitions. And now, when they are purified from within, and within has two aspects, purification of the brain, that is the thought. Purification of the thought and purification of the intentions, niya, that is in the heart. When this purification has taken place, now teach them the book and the hikmah. Three stages. Yatlu alayhim ayatihi wa yudakkihim wa yu'alli muhammul kitab wal hikmah. This was the basic methodology of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He continued this work, continued this work for 12 long years at Makkah. So, about 150 people gathered around him, purified them, organized them, taught them the book and the wisdom.
Now those were the people who were in the vanguard for jihad fi sabillah. For two years, no Ansari was included in jihad fi sabillah. It was a purely, exclusively Buhadi phenomenon. Ansaris were called only at the Battle of Badr. The eight expeditions before Badr, they were exclusively Muhadi phenomenon. This was the group prepared by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through this process of yatlu alayhim ayatihi wa yuzakkihim wa yu'allimuhum al-kitab wa al-hikmah. Wa intanu min qablu la fi dhalalim mubirun. Verily, before that they were in a very manifest error. Wa akharina minhum. And we have raised this messenger of ours, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not only for these unlettered people, others also who will be eventually with them, but they have not up till now joined them. Because he is sent for the whole of humanity. After the Arabs, the Iranians will come, the Coptics will come, the Berbers will come, the, you know, Turkistanis will come, the Sindhis will come, the Indians will come. So these are also, he was sent for them also, but primarily, because he was himself from among the Ummiyin. So his primary advent was for the Ummiyin. He prepared an Ummah whose nucleus was consisting of the Ummiyin. But then, you know, the electrons one after the other coming and, you know, circumambulating uh, that nucleus. So this is the constitution of this Ummah. They have not joined them up till now. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ And definitely, he is almighty and the wise. I have told you before, these two names of Allah are repeated in these surahs. Most, you know, recurrently. الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ ذَلِكَ فَقُوا اللَّهِ يُطْيَ مَنْ يَشَاءَ This is the bounty of Allah. He grants it to him, to whomsoever he wishes. Wallahu dhul fadlil azim, and definitely Allah is of infinite bounty. Now again, just as we had the example of the former Muslim Ummah, the Jews, the Bani Israel, now again example. O Muslims, you are today being given Quran. They were given Torah. What they did with Torah, see that you don't do that with Quran. مَسَلُ الَّذِينَ حُمِّلُوا التَّوْرَاتَ أَسُمَّ لَمْ يَحْمِلُوهَا The similitude of those who were entrusted with the responsibility of Torah, but they didn't carry it out. كَمَسَلِ الْحِمَارِ يَحْمِلُوا أَسْفَارَ That is like a donkey laden with books. On a donkey you might load, you know, volumes of philosophy or volumes of science. To what avail for him? In this same way, an ummah which has been entrusted with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't fulfill its duties regarding it. I mentioned one of my basic pamphlets, Muslimanu par Qurani Majid ke hukuk, what the Muslims owe to Quran. It is present in English also, Urdu also, Persian also, Arabic also. مَسَلَ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ بَيْسَ مَسَلُ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِعَيَاتِ A very bad and wretched is the example of the people who belie the revelations of Allah. Now this is taqzeeb. Did the Jews ever say that Torah was not sent by Allah? Never. But this is the practical belying. When you don't act upon it, that is, you are belying it with your action. Had you really believed this is the word of Allah, you had acted upon it. This means you are saying something else, doing something else. Your attitude denotes something else. Wallahu la yahdil qawmaz walimeen. And Allah doesn't forcibly guide such evil doers. And what is the reason of this, this attitude of a Muslim ummah? The Muslim ummah, when it is entrusted with a high mission, Instead of looking to the responsibilities of that mission, they take pride 
means that we are the Muslims and we are the Muslim Ummah and we are the Ummah of the Prophet of Messenger. On this pride they think that they are entitled to salvation, whatever they do. The salvation in the hereafter is their birthright. They must get it. So then, if the salvation is your birthright, what's the need of doing something? Why to differentiate between halal and haram, permissible and forbidden? Why? Do whatever you like. You will get the salvation anyhow. This is the reason. قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ هَادُوا إِنْ زَعَمْتُمْ أَنَّكُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ لِلَّهِ مِنْ دُونِ النَّاسِ Say, Oh, you who have become Jews, if you assert that you are alone and last friends apart from the rest of the mankind, فَتَمَنَّمُ الْمَوْتَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Then you should long for death. If you have real love with someone, you want to meet him, not to be keep away from him. If you love Allah, and if you really think that Allah loves you, then you should, you should like that you should die and go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I am now nahu abadan, and they are not going to long for this death. Because of the deeds that their hands have forwarded for them. Wallahu alimu mizalameen. Allah very well knows these evil doers. Say to them, the death from which you flee, فَإِنَّهُ مَلَاقِيكُمْ Surely it will encounter you. It will come and meet you. You might be running away from the death, but it will come before you. ثُمَّ تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَلِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ Then you will be returned. To Allah, who is the knower of the seen and the unseen, and then He will tell you what you had been doing. Now this process which Muhammad Sassim continued, this yatlu alayhim ayatihim wa yuzakkihim wa yu'allimuhum al-kitab wa al-hikmah. This was then institutionalized in the form of Friday. You know there were no schools, no colleges. No books, no journals, no video audio tapes. So the only method of education, mass education, public education, was this weekly meeting of the believers. Take bath, change your clothing. If you have some scent, use it. Come to the mosque. And there, some one in the place of the Prophet. The Prophet used to stand on that member. Now someone is standing, this is the member of Rasul, of the Messenger. And he will do the same job. This was the basic purpose of this Juma, which later on became a ritual. Nothing. رہ گئی رسم ازاں روح بلالی نہ رہی اور فلسفہ رہ گیا تلقین غزالی نہ رہی nothing left in it it's a ritual that's all it was actually the greatest system of mass education adult education public education reminding them reminding them reminding them you have been interested with a mission کنتم خیرہ امت خرجت لناس تامرون بالمعروف تنہونا للملکر to remind them that was actually the purpose. Every revolutionary party, every revolutionary party, even the communists, they used to have their weekly meetings, renewing their thoughts, their ideologies, so that they remain fresh in their minds, so that they are fully engaged in the struggle. And this is it. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا نُودِيَ لِلصَّلَاةِ مِنْ يَوْمِ الْجُمْعَةِ فَسْعَوْا إِلَىٰ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ مَذَرِ الْبَعْدِ O you who believe, when the call is given for the prayer, congregational prayer, on Friday, that is the Duma prayer, فَسْعَوْا إِلَىٰ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ As to hasten to the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, مَذَرُ الْبَعْدِ Leave all your trading, everything. ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ 
दिस इज गुड फॉर यू इफ यू ओनली नो इट वॉज सो इंपॉर्टेंट दैट द प्रॉफिट सेट उन तरह का सलासा जो मुआतिन बगैर उजरिन लखतमन अल्लाहअल भी हु सो एवर मुस्लिम लीव थ्री फ्राइडे प्रेयर सरमन कॉन्ग्रीगेशन विदाउट अटेंडिंग दम विदाउट देर बींग वेरी रियल कॉज वाइट मिस्टेक देर इज समथिंग एल्स बगैर उजरिन अल्लाह इज श्योर टू सील इज हार्ट लखतमन अल्लाहअल भी दिस इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट फैजा को देती सला तो वेन दिस प्रेयर हैज बिन कॉन्क्लूडेड एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ जुमा इज नॉट दी प्रेयर इट्स द खुतबा प्रेयर यू नो जोहर हैज फोर रकात एंड इन जुमा देर आर टू प्रेयर वाई इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स द खुतबा एक्चुअली बिकॉज दैट इज दैट इज मेंट फॉर एजुकेशन रिन्यूइंग the ideology in your minds so that is the essential part faiza ko de salat when the prayer have been concluded fan tashru fil lard when you can or you may disperse in the land wa tahum min fadlillah and seek allah's bounty and remember nashkurullah kaseer allah lakum tuflihun remember when allah much so that you are successful now a special event is in the background of the last ayah of this surah juma once there was much dearth of grains in madina no wheat no rice etc etc and then when the prophet sallam was giving his sermon on you know friday there were the bells started ringing that some caravan is coming they came to know that a caravan has come you know and then uh, there is grain so if other people go first maybe they are finished so most of the people ran and left muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying his sermon so on this allah subhanahu wa taala has you know rebuked them wa izara au tijaratan aw lahwan yafdu ilaiha wa tarakuka qaima and when they saw some merchandise or sports they dispersed head long to it flocked to it eagerly and left you o prophet standing it is said that at that time this juma sermon was also after the prayer just as we have in eids in eid ul fitr eid ul adha first we pray and then is the khutbah that was the case at that time then it was changed khutbah before salah zakar asma rabbihi fa salla first you take the name of allah and then you pray but at that time it is one of the opinions that because people thought salah we have already completed now this is khutbah so there is no great importance of it we can go no the, the real essence of juma is khutbah is the sermon it has made khutbah has made juma the juma otherwise there was zuhur salah ulma inda allah khairu min allah wa min atiyara say to them whatever is with allah subhanahu wa taala it is much better than the sport and the merchandise but whoever is concerns this world this is much better which allah subhanahu wa taala has for you as reward wallahu khairur raziqin and you should have the faith that allah is the best provider he will provide for you now to sum up this pair of those two 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 surahs the most important part of quran regarding the issue of the advent of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was bhai was muhammad sent not only as a preacher not only as a teacher not only as a bearer of glad tidings not only as a warner but also to make the deen of allah supreme to establish it as a whole politico socio economic system this should be clear absolutely and this aya ho allazi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa din al haqq li yuzhirahu ala din al kulli it appears three times in quran surah at tawbah then we have read in surah al fath the last part is different wa kafa billahi shahida 
بٹ دس پارٹ میجر پارٹ ہو الزی اصل رسول بل خدا و دین الحق دین کلی اٹ از ریپیٹ ان ود آؤٹ دی چینج آف اے ڈاٹ اور اے لیٹر سو فار دیٹ الون محمد کین ناٹ ڈو اٹ ہی نیڈس ہیلپرس فیتھ فل ہیلپرس کمیٹڈ ڈیووٹڈ ویری ٹو سیکریفائز ایوری تھنگ ڈسپلن in the habit of listening and obeying moving when commanded stopping when ordered so now this work has to be done by those who say who claim with the believe in allah and his messenger for this purpose first of all through quran dawa of quran dawa through quran call people toward this path whosoever has some life within him not the physical life but the spiritual life he will respond sooner or later there might be difference but he will respond he will accept now you have to purify their souls their characters their thought their intentions teach them the book of allah and the wisdom of that book of allah now prepare them and then when the time comes challenge kufr and batil and tahut challenge it in the battlefield and when allah subhanahu wa taala if he decrees his help will come and you will be successful otherwise if you have laid down your life for that cause you are successful the real success is the salvation of the hereafter